Hi there friends, uh, here we have uh, one module from IC station. The module code is 13672. Uh, 13672. This is the module code and this is a very beautiful module. Uh, we will open it up and then I will show you the specs and other details for this one. Also we will test this module in this video. So watch this video till end and subscribe my channel like the video so that you will get notifications on each upload uh, so here this one is dc 3.3 volt 4 channel plc amplifier optical isolator npn output signal converter board so this board regular price is eight dollar 69 cents whereas they are giving an offer six dollar and 52 cents and for wholesale price you can contact them uh, this module you know uh, this is isolator type module you can see there are opto coupler isolators and a few hundred volts uh, galvanic isolation it can produce provide and this is of course four channel now i will show you a little more details specifications for this one this uh, you know four channels are input and four channels output then the circuit diagram is showing that how you will connect and of course we will connect it over here and on board we will test it and then the dimension for this board is 86 millimeter foot into 47 millimeter and the height is 36 millimeter this is del rail mounting you know here you can fix this uh, on the den rail here this one you can fix on the den rail uh, so this is industrial type of unit so that's why they have provided in such nice encapsulation uh, for this one what we will need is we need two power supplies here are the two power supplies i will test uh, this unit this is a smaller supply for input and this is a bigger supply of course uh, 12 volt 1.5 ampere uh, this unit is can be used less than 30 volt is it is written over here you can see less than 30 volt this less than 30 volt uh, you can supply dc over here on this jack plus and minus this is the ground and here is the positive vcc and ground you will provide over here and i will show you in a little while uh, this is the output supply and here are the mosfets you know these MOS mosfets are and 5 ampere rating for each channel but you can use even for more uh, amperes but 5 ampere is suggested amperes so this one is and here this input is you can see here is a table you know uh, this is giving the specs from 1.8 volt 3.3 volt 5 volt 12 volt and 24 volt so this dot shows that this is 3.3 volt module this supply of course is something 5 volt 5.6 volt but it is giving uh, some 6.7 volt or something like that so that's why i did a trick with this one i soldered one resistor over here 10 kilo ohm resistor on the positive wire this uh, positive wire for this power supply i soldered this resistance uh, to limit the input current for this module because if i will supply uh, for some six seven volt over here so it will burn but this resistance this will pre prevent it from burning but it will work so now here i am going to connect it and i will show you how we are going to connect this thing uh, another thing is this light bulb this i will connect in the output so i will show this will draw some one to two amperes because this is you know uh, somewhat 12 volt and uh, 10 watts so about an ampere or uh, a little less than an ampere it will draw and this is of course 12 volt so we are going to test this unit on 12 volt uh, so for the output first we will have to connect these wires uh, the positive is of course over here we have so this positive and the light bulb one wire we will connect it on the VCC terminal and then the other terminal for the power supply negative ground we will provide it over here on the ground terminal so look at the connections it is easy only the positive wire will take this light wire and the other uh, light wire we will connect it on some channel like if i will connect it on channel one so channel one is over here so i will open this screw and connect my bulb wire lamp wire over here on channel one 
take care of the short circuiting not to create any short circuit that's all now input we will provide this common because it's need a common there are two commons one is over here the second is over here so on any common these both common are connected together so on any common you can provide this wire We'll connect it some way like this then now this one is remains open i will show you why i remained open this one this resistance wire uh, i will connect both supplies over here to the 220 volt line now you can see this led had been come the power led had been come but the bulb the light bulb is not glowing why it is not glowing is because there is no input so if i will provide this input to channel 1 it should glow as you can see now it's glowing while i'm giving this resistance to i am connecting this resistance wire to channel 1 you can see this indication this red indication for the channel 1 is coming this red indication and the light bulb is glowing in the output so this is you know through optocoupler this signal is transforming from here to there and this is some a few milliampere or maybe a little less than an ampere milliampere if this signal is this input signal because this is coming through 10 kilo ohm resistance which is very very much small current amount of current it will pass so if i will put on channel 2 it's also glowing channel 3 it's also glowing channel 4 it's also glowing i have single bulb so i have connected this to channel 1 but let let me connect this one to channel 4 so then i will show you that all channels are working and you will understand how you will have to connect so now this bulb is going to channel 4 so if i will connect it to channel 1 the bulb is not glowing because this is not on channel 1 the bulb is on channel 4 now so if i will connect it to 4 it's glowing you can see it's glowing so this way what i did is i amplified this signal this input small signal i amplified through this amplifier circuit this is acting as digital amplifier and also I, I, um, optical isolation it is providing over here so optically it is isolated the input is isolated from the output and we have two supplies so that's why this input is totally isolated from the output and there is a barrier the intrinsic barrier is there galvanic isolation they are providing these opto isolators a few hundred volts isolation it is providing so this is a nice beautiful module for plc's in industry in industry you can use these modules and they are there as digital and analog also but keep in mind this is digital this is not analog i will bring some review for analog uh, optical isolator as well sometimes uh, but this one is digital so these four channels inputs and four channels output this is the digital module and it's working perfectly as you saw and it's a very nice beautiful module so hope you people would like this video and if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe my channel uh, press on the bell icon and press on all so then you will get my notifications on each upload ic station all products are good they are reliable they are working and they are very nice they are cheap also they are low cost uh, so if you friends are uh, interested in some electronics projects uh, you people must comment me uh, whatever um, uh, electronic projects and whatever circuits do you need so then i will br bring those uh, those circuits so then i will bring those circuit for you and you people will sure enjoy them and you people will learn from them and they're, they're, this is the goal for uh, this channel that you people must learn because the name is you know learning zone so from learning zone you will learn a lot of technologies electronics electrical mechanical automotive radio uh, communication industry each and everything you will understand and you will learn over here uh, so thank you for watching once again and friends uh, stay tuned with my channel and subscribe more and more so then this channel will get prosperity and it will grow thank you for watching